Shalom, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, and double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS that taught us his word. Uh, I just want to talk about, you know, cashless society and how Esau wants to, uh, you know, destroy the dollar so he can bring in this, his microchip, you know. Uh, but the Most High is only going to allow him to get so far. And then, you know, just when he's about to fill his belly, you know, the Most High is going to put a stop to it. But, um, I got this article out of uh, ZeroHedge.com entitled, An Unprecedented Monetary Overhaul. The Fed is preparing to deposit digital dollars directly to each American. So yeah, step by step, you're getting closer and closer to, you know, a cashless society. Over the past decade, the one common theme, despite the political upheaval and growing social and geo political instability was that the market would keep marching higher and the Fed would continue injecting liquidity into the system. The second common theme is the, despite sparking unprecedented asset price inflation, prices as measured across the economy using the flawed CPI metric and certainly stagnant worker wages would remain subdued. As a reminder, the Fed is desperate to ignite broad inflation, as that is the only way the countless trillions of excess debt can be eliminated, and has so far failed to do so. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but touch on a few key points. Um, uh, to be sure, in the aftermath of, of the COVID pandemic shutdowns, the Fed has tried to short-circuit this process, and in conjunction with the Treasury, it has launched helicopter money, which has resulted in a direct transfer of funds to U.S. corporations via PPP loans, as well as to end consumers uh, via the emergency $600 weekly unemployment benefits, which, how, however, are set to expire unless renewed by Congress. And yet the lament is that even as the economy was desperately in need of a massive liquidity tsunami, the funds created by the Fed and Treasury did not make their way to those who need them the most, and consumers. Which is why we read with great interest a Bloomberg interview with two former Fed officials. Simon Potter, who led the Federal Reserve Bank, and Julia Coronado, who spent eight years as an economist for the Fed's Board of Governors, who are among the innovators of brainstorming solutions to what has emerged as the most crucial and difficult problem facing the Fed, get money swiftly to people who need it the most in a crisis. Yeah, so, you know, they cause a problem, reaction, solution, you know. Uh, the response was striking. The two proposed uh, creating a monetary tool that they call recession insurance bonds, which draw on some of the advances in digital payments, which, would, which will be wired instantly to Americans. As Coronado explained the details, Congress would grant the Federal Reserve an additional tool for providing support, say a percent of GDP, to households in a recession. Recession insurance bonds would be zero coupon securities, a, a contingent asset of households that would be that would basically lie in wait. The trigger could be reaching the zero lower bond on interest rates, or as economist Claudia Schaum has proposed, a 0.5 percentage point increase in the unemployment rate. Uh, the Fed would then activate the securities and deposit the funds digitally in household apps. 
So yeah, they're trying to get rid of, you know, that cash. Um, but you know, it's all prophecy. You know, they want to want to push that chip. You know, part of their the new world order. And you can see here they're purposely trying to uh, inflate the dollar uh, so that they can uh, so they can eliminate all that debt, you know, through inflation. Uh, but the first scripture I'm going to get uh, is Habakkuk two and five. I was talking about Esau. Uh, yea, also, because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlarges his desire as hell, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. Shall not all these take a parable against him, and a taunting proverb against him, and say, Woe unto him that increaseth that which is not his, how long? And to him that laid it himself with thick clay. Yeah, you know, that thick clay represents all that debt. You know, that trillions of debt that I was talking about here in this article. You know, that's that debt that America's in. And they try to you know, inf do inflation to help, you know, bring down that debt. But, um, yeah, you know, he laid it himself with thick clay here in America. Uh, that next scripture is, uh, Job 20 and 23. Uh, when he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Yeah, when he's about you know, to fill his belly, when he's about to uh, really start to get into that new world order. You know, instituting that chip, making it mandatory. The Most High is going to allow him to get to a certain point. But then he's going to cast him down. Uh, he shall flee from the iron weapon. And the bow of steel shall strike him through. Yeah, the missiles, man. He's going to try to flee from the, from that iron weapon. He's going to try to hide out the mountains. to go out in the outer space or whatever. You know, but the Most High is just preserving him so that he can be the first into slavery. But for the most part, you know, here in America, you know, the bow of steel is going to strike him through. You know, the missiles are going to put an end to that new world order, you know. Next scripture is uh, Job 5 and 12. He disappointeth the, the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Yeah, he's going to disappoint them, man. The devices of the crafty, you know, their thoughts, you know. You know, that chip, that New World Order, mainly, he's going to disappoint that. And the hands aren't going to perform that enterprise. You know, that New World Order, Michael chipping everybody, he's, it's just not going to come to pass. You know, but like I said, you know, he's going to, most likely going to allow him to get to a certain point, you know. But then, you know, he's going to disappoint him. Just like uh, the book of Revelation, it says, uh, yeah, if any man received him some mark, you know, on his forehead or in his hand, you know, it's going to you know, drink the wrath, which is poured out without mixture, you know, as the scriptures say, you know, roughly paraphrasing, you know, on his forehead, that, you know, that prophecy makes sense now with the whole you know, Elon Musk and his Neuralink project. You know, that, that's, that's the beast as well, the mark of the beast. And in their hand, you know, that chip. So you're not to take that chip, man. So you have to put your trust in Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai, you know, to get you through it. Um, or else you're going to feel the humiliation of the Lord, you know, without mixture, you know, the presence of Yahweh Shai, the presence of the Lamb. Uh, but that, but yeah, I just wanted to bring out this article uh, relating to the upcoming uh, cashless society. Trying to inject digital dollars directly to each household, you know, via 
a household app. But that's just the starting point, you know. But with that, you know, show them all.